Welcome back to Smash Brothers. Welcome back. Episode 2, Jules of the Planeswalkers, 2014, which was probably released last year. Um, <laughs> it probably like, was. It's like magazines. I mean, what mm. the fuck is up with, like, you buy the the next month's issue in the month before? I mean, why not just call it after the month you release it anyway? Oh, just, 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 it pisses me off. I don't know why, but it just does. Just delay it. <laughs> delay the inevitable. Well, just name it the month you release it. Name it the year you release it. Just anyway. so, so the so the, what, the next the upcoming game that they're going to release next week in this edition. Given the fact this is one pound seventy four on Steam at the moment, which means they're trying to get rid of it. Two thousand fifteen. Yeah, out, it will come out this year. And it'd be like thirty nine ninety nine ninety nine, wouldn't it? No, it's actually, cheap. these these games come out at a pretty reasonable price when they first come out new. They tend to be like twenty quid, seventy. Really, quid. Wizards yeah. of the Coast, reasonable. You can buy like God. shiny foil packs and stuff. For this to expand your decks, but to be honest, the cards they give you once you unlock them all is enough to just devastate most people. So uh, unless you're going to play online against people that are throwing money at the game, no, it's not going to matter. No. And even then, it is a strategy game. It is based on luck. Mm -hmm. Depends on what's in your hand, but at the end of the day, it's knowing what to do with the hand that you're dealt. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is what we played with last time, which Luke completely trounced them with. Uh, well, that's our favourite deck, my favourite deck, I think it's one of your favourite decks. Green, um, yeah, green was for a long time, I mean, you, there are some really vicious cards. Um, so it's a completely different strategy. Now, red, as we said earlier on in the first uh, video, red is a quick, off the mark, you can play a lot of creatures with red cards. Not well, not in this, see, you've got a source with one card, that's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, it's not as much land as I would want. No, and no. And I have to get lucky. Did you want to concede and do a what? To no, I just I draw a new hand. But you lose I'm a card though. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan. It's so Sam's mulligan now, so you can draw another hand. But oh, no land whatsoever. No, I got two land. Oh no, take it back. Two land. Two land. You can cast. That, that's two useful. Three damages. off. Three off the bat. Three off the bat. That's amazing. That card. Yeah, we'll keep that. There we go. So red, completely different tactics. The green's all about building up your army slowly and that, and just overpowering them. Red is just go in guns blazing, get out as much shit as you can, and slap them in the face with some kippers. Yeah, um, I ch I'm choosing to not cast this. I could immediately do two damage to him, but yeah. I kind of want to see what he's going to pull out of the bag. What deck so are we playing? Maybe got find out. Range on the mouse. No, there we go. What deck are we playing with? I I have no idea. I, mm. uh, Magic fans would know by his name what kind of deck he's yeah, playing. Yeah, okay. I'm We're playing a white deck. Or... White v red. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, yeah, so this is one of the counters, so... Yeah, so he's going to die in a second. Yes, <laughs> he will. In fact... Uh, yeah, because yeah, that card came out with 0-2 or 0-1, he put it out, gets a counter on it, it's now 1-2. Um, okay, That's the thing, when you're playing in a tournament, who keeps track of all the counters and all the bullshit going on? All the sort of the enchantments, the instants, is there a referee involved with a real game? Um, you would tend to know the rules, and if you don't know the rules, you look them up. I mean, tournaments, yeah, you'd have so many people watching that mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able, wouldn't have a chance of getting something wrong. No. And apart from when new cards come out, and that's always interesting. Mm. Uh, so creature. Um, oh, there we go. Cast on. This is uh, cast on. So is this a direct damage to that creature then? Is it? Oh, this thing. I want to do that. No, there we go. So that, our card's gone in the graveyard, his card's gone in the graveyard. So if you use a card in this game, it goes in your graveyard. There are ways of getting cards out of your graveyard, especially if you play a black deck, which can be fucking lethal. In fact, sometimes um, it's easier to put something into your graveyard and get it out mm -hmm. than anything else. Other very strong tactic. That's pretty good. Yeah, Other strong those. tactics in this game, you can get library shuffling cards. Um, uh, some cards, you let you shuffle the library, you can draw land out. They're just incredibly uber. It does get, I mean, it can seem very complicated when you first start playing it, but it's a you just look at what you've got in front of you to start with mm -hmm. without worrying about everything else. Like That's something nice, comes onto yeah. the field, have a look, he's got a 2-2, two, two, artifact a creature. So that's interesting. That's not actually aligned to any side. That's a creature. So you could, you could play you could play any free lands to cast that, which is he interesting. Could. I wonder whether that will work on his artifact creature. Yes, a good idea. I think it might. That's a, this is a good, good I call. I think we'll find out in just a second. I think we'll find out indeed. If it works, and the ability. Oh, it does. Well, that's a damn shame, isn't it? Bye, bye, artifact creature. Bye, bye. And we just burned him the fucking life. No, it it, it does look comp. Oh, hang on. He's got loads of different lands in his deck. He has got three different colours, ah. and we are struggling for land. Oh, thank God. We were struggling for land. Right, he's got four, and he hasn't pulled anything out, which either means he's 
shaped on land, mm -hmm. or he's got something very big he's waiting to get out. The other thing of playing a mixed deck like our opponent is at the moment, you, you do negate your chances to be able to cast. If you play a, you know, a, a standard colour or a standard two colours, you've got more chance of getting stuff out. I feel you. I feel you. If you play like, like I think he's a dick. If you're playing three lands at once, I think you are crippling yourself personally. I don't. I don't think that unless you've got shit loads of artifact creatures or something. It depends. Really you, I mean, building a deck is a skill in itself. So it if is, you're going to go for is. multi colors, then you want a lot of stuff that's going to have no particular color cast mm -hmm. and cost, or you have the right ratio of land to what you want. So mm. see, that's that's nice defense on uh, that. No, that's vigilance. Right, that's, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think we can probably sort him out. Yeah. Shortly. But see, his his mixed deck. He's only able to cast. Okay, he's got good defense on that, but it's not. I mean, we've got flying creatures, which are incredibly useful. That's a. Oh, I don't like the one defense on it. I think it's well, a bit shit. A bit, I, four one one four. Yeah, I mean, if I if I bring it out and he chooses to attack me, they both die. It's fine. Yeah, they well, go. Either they us. both die, or I just take the one and he takes the four. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that mm -hmm. trade off. Just like I just said, flying as well. Flying, um, you basically, you know, you, you, as long as you've got another flying creature on the field, you can't block a flying creature. So if Sam were to ca cast both his flying creatures now, our opponent at this stage would have no. That's pretty cool. It's a beautiful card. It costs five, but it's five damage. Five points of magic, five mm -hmm. damage. Nice and simple, red light. Like Indeed that. it is. And that can kill, yeah, creature or, 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 or player. So I think we'll have to take one of those out. I mean, general rule of thumb, you know, it's good to put as much damage on your opponent as possible on the player. I mean, if, it, if you do need to attack creatures, there we go. Well, so I didn't even see that I got to do that. No, no, did I? So this is again. So this is this is a shuffle. This is what I'm saying. So you oh, can... this is brilliant. I didn't. Oh, that's fantastic. It is I didn't fantastic. Read it probably. So you can search your library for any land you want. See that, and a multi-coloured deck would be amazing. It would because be because you could then pick what any land you want. Or, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Whatever colour you want, and because I haven't put another land down, we put a land down this turn. So and again, in a minute, we're, we're probably going to cast out whatever flying creature, and that gives us another land. It's just, just, just that, that's an this incredibly good card. This thing, card. I think, is probably what's going to end up taking it yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I if I damage him on the round before I cast that, it gets this bonus. What does Bloodthirst do then? Sorry, I, didn't... I think I think Bloodthirst works like if you do damage to an opponent and then you summon a creature, that creature is like pretty. It gets the Bloodthirst bonus. All right. Does that, does that up attack or does it just? I don't. Yeah, we'll I have to find out. I'm intrigued to see what. We'll, we'll find out in a second. It's one of those. Is that? It's a new ability they brought into the game, isn't it? Blood first. It's just well, it's newish. 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 Right. I think we're going to. I don't like that T two, so I can't yeah. think I'm gonna do two damage to. Right, be the creature and then one to the player. Yes, but be very careful with that card because damage can bounce back to you. No, it can't. Oh. Oh, that's my play that it did. <laughs> but I might that must wrong. have been because they'd done some sort of counter on uh, you or something right, like yeah. that. So, uh, it was over an instant. Creature, yeah. one. Yeah, there you go. Creature, two. And then player, one. Well, Goodbye. So that takes off, that kills that creature, one damage to him. It's a good trade off. Oh, and we can get this little guy out as well. Yep, again, if you've little got creatures blocker. to play, play the creatures. You know, main magic rules, main the primary things of magic, play your lands and then play any creatures you can and just go for it really. So there we go, now he can't block us, although his cards are tapped at the top, he can't block us because we're flying, so we're going to fly right over him and shit on his head. Plop, one, done. It's a quite slow uh, red uh, round I have to say, normally it's a bit more boom boom boom, but I've got kind of unlucky with the lands and he's got, he's got swamped in them, he's got way too many. There's way too many. Yeah, I think he's got a whole handful of lands, man. I mean, that may be how this deck was stacked because it's got so many colours. It's got a large proportion of land. So now we're going to play another play another flying creature. I'm presuming. Yeah, uh, we're going to play both actually. There you go. Sasha blood deck. Give us another land to put down. Et voila. Pop. There we go. So that's another land. That goes down, and then we can pull out. It looks like that. It looks like a Stargate pyramid, doesn't it? It was like one of the. One That's of, right. one, yeah, one of the ships off Stargate. Oh, those are the Angry Birds. Uh, uh, as it goes, silly hats. This yeah, guy's. But... This guy's pretty out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Are you sure you want that as a hat? That's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> With great power comes great risk of killing yourself. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of makes sense. That, that looks like the ultimate Angry Bird. That thing. That really does. Right, Imagine um... playing that on the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, all anyone ever does with that game, innit? It's a player on the shitter. There's no. <coughs> there is! 
I even toilet got, games. I got Sean on that, and that's all he does. He's like, he's just brilliant. He's like, I'm taking a dump. I can throw my birds around. And I'm, I thought, oh, okay. Too much information there, but... And he's been in the bathroom to... Oh, oh this is not what... No, here we okay. go. Ah, oh, haste. Haste is a nasty ability Whenever to get up against. Whenever Turok or another ally comes into battle for a control, per 1-1 one, one counter. Okay, that's fine. We can probably burn this guy with one of these. We can indeed. Okay, so... Cone of... Oh, he's attacking me or something. Oh, cheeky bastard. For one? Did you want to do a trade-off? For one or not? Oh, there's one. No, one. Oh, fuck, one take, take, I'll take it. Good God. There you go. Ow, the pain. Just a bit of wee scratch. Just a bit of scratch, my lord. <laughs> right. Oh, no. No, I what? don't like these haste cards. Okay, I think I, th I think I can do something pretty awesome here, actually. Although that's going to go to a four. Four, yeah. Oh no, that's a problem. Mhm. Mm go to five. Oh. Okay, so now he's stacking counters. This is where it gets a bit more clever. That's incredibly useful at this stage. Okay. I think we just burn this guy. Burn off. the big one. Yeah, burn the big one off because he's he's going to cause us problems. All yes. yeah, all of it. Damn right. Feel like and shit it dude hits him too as well. Good. That was a good tactic. Now, now, this is where it gets interesting. What do we choose? To, I mean, the flying creatures. I'm just, I'm just yeah. going to fly over the top for Absolutely. now. Absolutely. What I want to do is I want to take a bite out of them mm -hmm. with some flyers. You've got to leave off some blood digestive some, biscuits. And then do some blood first. I like. I love the art. The artwork on that uh, on that firebird card. It's, it's just. Yeah, it's, oh, it's fucking awesome, Look isn't it? That. Any one of these cards, you could frame in a picture and stick in your fucking living room, man. They are just beautiful. Ha, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. No, he's got your eyes full of land. You can take right. that, though. Right. So, I think I'm right in saying that I've got to hit something first. What, for bloodlust? Yeah. Um, I think I really want like a little one sorcery spell. So I can hit him and then cast that. Oh, hang on, return scar. What's the ability? Return scar from the grave. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, okay, um, it's flying as well because I'm going to save it actually. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm going to do one damage to this other little building nonsense thing. Um, two damage to this creature just because I've got to do the damage somewhere. Yeah. And then three to him. So there's one creature down and three damage to the player. One. So it's one damage, two damage, three damage. But it's still your main phase. So your combat phase, you could actually, if you wanted to, obviously take your flying creatures for it. That'll do. You, I was going to say, if you took a no, land creature out... Oh, I've yeah. Got oh, don't worry next about round, that. he's, he's yeah, dead. I'm this not even going to get this thing out, no. actually. I don't need to. Nope. This is a great demonstration of a red deck, actually, this. this well, it's prime. not. Normally, you would go a lot faster than this. No, but I like deck. it. You're getting the it's flying as well. I mean, I've kept his creatures down, which is really important. Hmm. Ow. That's really in me. But you only up one, so that'd be one damage to you. Ah. Oh, or enough. creature. That's okay. Yeah, alright, we'll take that. But, well, I mean, yeah, that is actually a good a, choice. Did he just get. No, he didn't. Okay, that's fine. That was actually quite an intelligent decision, although we have. Here we go, so we'll take the one damage. No, I'm not taking one damage. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, good, yeah. You can pop off. You're not having that. Oh. Hmm. Chop, chop. Bye bye. Off you go. Silly hat. Ah. What's that? What's that ability? What was it? What was its ability? Oh, it does deals one damage to something. Does it? Yeah, it was that's it. fucking awesome. I forgot about that. I'll take that. So that's really that's another thing. Like if you've got one ones, then you just block with one of those, and then ping is one one, and then you kill it. Um, and that's that. That's game. Yep, that's game. So you can finish him off with an Avarax in the face. Have one of those, chat. Nice catch. <laughs> there you go. Very good demonstration of red deck, sir. Very right. good. Oh, I thought so. I think uh, we should choose another deck now, eh? Uh, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah,
I, I think everyone else wants to see another, another, another. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I hope we won then. Inferno. That's fucking awesome card. I do like the um, the, the damage dealing cards. Red ones. They tend to be, don't they? they really yeah, are pretty much direct instant. damage. Which is, a, I mean, red, red and red and blue is a fantastic fight to watch. Some g a good red deck because blue decks are all about interrupts and counters, mm. and then the red decks about the damage and. Blue decks draw more cards. And yeah. it's, it's it's great. You can get in there quick and pull back, and it's it's it's, it's, it's so much. It's, although it's just a card game, it's very dynamic, and we're going to show you that with another deck right about now. Mm -hmm.